Hello everyone, it is Paul from Clever Files here, and in this short video I'm going to explain why Disk Drill requires full disk access permissions on your computer and how to enable this permission. So firstly, Disk Drill requires full disk access in order to make the following features work. The first one is it needs full disk access to load a user's iTunes backups for iOS data recovery. The second reason is for when you need to run cleanup mode, and thirdly, when using Duplicate Finder. Now, in order to grant full disk access, you only need to do this once. The easiest way to do that is when you have Disk Drill open, click the Clean Up button here. You'll see this dialog box appear, instructing you on how to enable full disk access, and you can open System Preferences by clicking this button, or by going to the Apple logo and then System Preferences on your menu bar. With System Preferences open, you can go to Security and Privacy. Make sure you're on the Privacy tab up here, and you want to scroll down to Full Disk Access. You may be required to put in your computer's password in order to enable and disable these permissions. And once you've done that, you can click the plus button, and in your Applications folder, you can then scroll down and find Disk Drill to enable full disk access. System Preferences will then ask you to quit Disk Drill in order to apply these changes. And the next time you open Disk Drill, it will have full disk access and you are ready to go. Remember, you can download Disk Drill for PC and Mac at cleverfiles.com. And thank you for watching.